Utah's Division of Wildlife Resources is proposing a number of changes, some to the use of trail cameras and other hunting-related technologies. They're also recommending some changes to black bear and cougar hunting in the state, and they're seeking public feedback on their new proposals. And so we want to go in depth on all of this. Joining us live to talk more about it is Covey Jones, the big game coordinator for Utah's Division of Wildlife Resources. So yeah, let's, uh, let's start with just kind of the, the big picture. This sounds like a lot of changes. Is this, a, is, is this something that you've been working on for, for some time or is this just a run of the mill what you do every year? Hi, Max. Um, yeah, so these changes, uh, there, there's two things here. One is just setting the season dates for bear and cougar, which I don't oversee. That's another program coordinator. But we're talking about the big game rule changes as to how we hunt and some of the issues with trail cameras and night vision. Those have been coming for over a year. Um, and the legislature last year when they met, they actually asked the division to, to look into this and propose some regulation and then get back to them on what those regulations were. So what, let's start with the uh, trail cameras. What, what, what would the, a new rule be on that if it were to change? Okay, so the recommendation from the agency is to put a season on transmitting trail cameras. So there's a, a select group of trail cameras that can transmit pictures directly to your phone. Um, and the way it's recommended is to exclude those for hunting purposes um, from July 31st to January 31st, or you can't use those to hunt big game with. And uh, why would you want to change that? Is it is the notion that it's, what, unfair? Yeah, I think a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of the laws around how we hunt are completely social, and there's this whole sentiment of fair chase. Like what is fair chase? And and when we when we asked our hunters, we sent surveys out to over fourteen thousand hunters. When we asked our hunters what they thought of this, um, it came back that they wanted some type of regulation on on trail cameras, and and they wanted it focused on transmitting cameras. Okay. And so okay. that's the agency went. And and uh, you you also mentioned. Um what was it, like a night vision technology? And, th and that's something also that uh, you you'd propose uh, not allowing in hunting seasons? Yeah, this is another thing that's, the, these night vision devices were so expensive that they were cost prohibitive for hunting for years and years. And as technology has, has gotten better and cost has come down, we've seen these devices start to be used in, in hunting. Now, it, it's been a longstanding tradition among hunters that we don't, we don't hunt or pursue at night. And so using these to track and locate at night, again, it's, it's an emerging technology, but it comes down to a, uh, what is fair for the animal, what is, what is sporting and, and what the public deems is, is acceptable. And it's so not socially acceptable to use these devices. And so we're recommending to, to prohibit them. And uh, tell us about the survey results that you saw as they came in uh, on the trail cameras and on the night vision. Were the, were the responses different or were they pretty much the same? And what proportion of, of responses were in favor of these new rules and what, uh, how many were against? Oh, now you're asking me to remember exactly all <laughs> of the data. <laughs> I, 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 I have those data, but I don't think we have time for me to dive into those. What I can say is that the majority of the public was opposed to using night vision for hunting big game. And a majority of the public was opposed to using transmitting cameras for, for hunting a big game. And when I say public, I mean the hunters that we surveyed. And we, we are the division of wildlife, right? We're not the trail camera police. We're not the night vision police. So when we say we're proposing rules on these things, it's as it relates to take or as it relates to hunting. Okay, and so uh, if there's some biologist out there or even amateur biologist, they, and they have one of those trail cameras, they could keep using that during that season, just not for hunting. That's right. So it's, it's yep, it's all as it relates to take or the aid, aid in the take of, of, of wildlife, of protected wildlife. How is the hunt going this year? You know, it, it depends on what you're talking about, but hunting is such an individual experience. I, I hate to I hate to tell people how it is, but uh, deer are definitely down, uh, and deer populations have been down or trending down for the last five years, uh, primarily related to the drought. Um, but there's still some some great hunts out there, and and we still have the animals, uh, the surplus for harvest. So that's a good thing. 
Okay. okay. Covey Jones, the uh, director of Big Game, or the co Big Game Coordinator for Utah's Division of Wildlife Resources. Now we have up on our screen different times and places that you can go to give feedback on these proposed changes through December and then early January as well.